Well, my name is Mike Hadlow. Um, I'm the uh, owner and sole employee of um, Stecky Limited, which is a little company. I hire myself out uh, for hourly and daily rates to, to, to various, uh, mostly corporate customers, and uh, uh, do uh, technical architecture consultancy. I also build software um, on a fixed price basis as well for, for a number of different clients. Um, I've been working as a software developer for uh, since 97. So what's that now? Only 12 years, I guess. And uh, I've been freelance for 10 of those years. So uh, I've been doing .NET since around about uh, 2002, commercially. Although I was playing with it since the since the alpha came out in uh, around about 2000. Yeah. So Steki is uh, is Japanese for wow or cool. And uh, and the sort of the SU is uh, more a kind of su, su rather than a su. So rather than su techy shop, it's a sticky shop. Yeah, sticky shop. According to my wife, anyway. Who's okay. Japanese, yeah. <laughs> so what are you trying to do? You know, what what is techy shop, and what is it you're you're trying to do with it? Okay. Well, my primary business is um, selling uh, architectural advice. I usually I hire myself out as a technical architect to to, to corporate customers. Um, so, Stecky Shop fulfills two requirements for me. Um, it satisfied a, a, a commercial requirement for an e-commerce site, but I guess more importantly than that, it's, it's a kind of an architectural calling card in that it demonstrates how I a, approach building uh, web-based applications. Have you got any customers currently running it, running, running their business on it? Yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's one customer, Jump the Gun, they're Brighton's premier modernist clothing establishment. In fact, I think they're, they're probably the UK's premier modernist clothing shop. So uh, a very exciting uh, e-commerce business because they're, they're the classic long tail, uh, long, the, the classic long tail uh, business. Having a, having a global scope is a great opportunity for them to um, increase their sales. And how did that come about? How did what, what was it? What came first, the uh, the website or the business relationship? Or? Uh, the, uh, the the relationship came first. I know the the manager um, of Jump the Gun socially, so he's been he, he asked me about um, what would be the best way of them getting an e-commerce uh, application up and running a number of years ago, and, and they tried another supplier first, weren't happy with them, and came back to me and. Uh, at which point the MVC framework was, I'd done, already done one application with the MVC framework. I thought it would be an excellent opportunity to get somebody else to pay for a, a, a sample, a great sample application that would, would, would demonstrate my architectural ideas, the MVC framework and satisfy a business need. Because having a concrete business requirement behind a sample application makes a much better sample application than one that's just built as a sample application. And what's your, your business model behind it? Um, you know, are you trying to get more customers on there? How are you, how are you trying to develop it as a business? Um, I would like more customers on it. And I guess um, I guess if enough people approach me, then I would spend more time on it. Um, but it's not my primary focus at the moment. As I said, uh, my, my sort of primary business is, is selling uh, architectural advice to, to my corporate customers. Um, so... I would like extra more customers in order to to prove the kind of multi-tenanted aspect of, of Stecky Shop, where you, I can provide the um, you know different requirements to different people on the same application platform. But in terms of a in terms of a sort of money-making venture, that's not probably not my top priority at the moment. Now there's a, uh, you know, there's a range of different e-commerce applications on the .NET platform already. What is it that distinguishes Stecky Shop from from those other applications? Do you think? Well, in terms of functionality, um, it probably has much less than a lot of the existing e-commerce solutions out there. Um, if, you, if you had a, a grid of functionality against um, uh, e-commerce applications, then Sticky Shop would probably come quite close to the bottom. It's a very kind of basic, basic version. Um, what it does offer is the technology platform. I think I'm not aware of any others that use that particular combination of, um, of the MVC framework, um, link to SQL, Castle. Uh, Windsor IOC container, um, so it's a, it's a very modern platform. So uh, it, its role as a as a sample application outweighs its its attractions as an e-commerce. And just talk us through some of the technology choices you made and why you chose 
MVC, why you chose uh, Link to SQL, and uh, Castle Windsor. Okay. Um, I guess I got, I probably got two, two primary strands to, to the way I think about um, architecture. Um, the, I think the biggest revolution for me in, in, in enterprise software development in the last five years or so has been test-driven development. It makes such a fundamental difference to the quality and robustness of the software you deliver and to the effectiveness of its design that um, I, I think it's an essential component of any, any large-scale piece of software. Um, the second element is, um, is component-oriented software, which kind of is quite closely linked to, to test-driven development. Um, component-oriented software really means building software like from Lego, from blocks, that you can then reassemble in different ways. And uh, an IOC container is, is an enabler for doing that. So, so that's my two primary platforms. Now, to do test-driven development you need a, and, and to use an IOC container, you need an open framework that you can plug your own bits into, and the MVC framework gives me that. Um, also, I'm, I'm, I'm no great fan of writing unnecessary code, and uh, in this day and age, an object relational mapping tool will save you from writing all that uh, data access code and all that, that SQL that you used to have to write, so I'm a big fan of those. Now, you've chosen to, to open source Sneaky Shop. Can you just tell me the background to that? Why did you choose to, to open source it? Sure. Well, as I said before, its primary focus is as a sample application, a kind of a, my calling card. And uh, if it wasn't open source, I couldn't, I couldn't use it like that. Um, another reason, there are, I mean, I guess even if I was thinking it from a purely commercial point of view, there are hundreds of e-commerce applications out there. It's probably, probably the most common web-based application type in a way. I, if I entered that market as another proprietary closed system, I don't think anybody would take any notice. Whereas if you if you release your if you release software into a closed market as an open source application, then it's a, it's a much easier way of getting, getting traction. Um, have you contributed to other open source projects? Is, this a, is there a track record in open source development there? I've, I've, I've released a couple of things before um, as open source projects, neither of which gained any attention at all. So one was a plugin for Visual Studio that allowed you to do web service testing. Right. Um, and another was um, a, a monorail based application for a, a job site, but I don't think I, know. I never hear anybody mention those. So. And what direction are you taking uh, to take your job in the, in the future? Well, I'd like, it to, I'd like it to become a very popular sample application for the, for the, for the MVC framework and the other technologies that it, that it showcases. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm very keen for people to take it. I, I'd love it if people took it and built commercial e-commerce sites from it and, uh, you know, fed back their experiences into the, into the shop itself. We should tell them where they can go to have a, to have a look at it. Yeah, just Google it? Sticky Shop. S-U-T-E-K-I Shop. Um, go straight to the straight to the project page. Any advice for others in a similar situation to yourself? Is there any sage advice you can give them? Uh, from the point of view of doing open source from software? The or point of view of building, uh, I suppose, um, incubating a business around building a, a web application such as Sticky Shop. Well, I think the MVC framework is a fantastic framework for, 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 for building sort of Independent software vendor style. Start that again. <laughs> I think we're going to have to do that again. <laughs> yeah, I think if you're um, if you're interested in being close to the HTTP protocol and you want real control over your HTML and you know you want to do you want to do clever things with um, with the sort of request response cycle, then um, then MVC framework is a, is a is a great choice for that because it allows you to get very you know very close to the protocol itself. Also, if you're doing um, test-driven development, um, component-oriented development, then it's, a, then it's an also an obvious choice.